Proudly, we hail. New York City, where the American stage begins. Here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Army and your Air Force to bring you this story. As proudly we hail, Staff Sergeant Virginia Brown of the United States Air Force. entitled Tower Team. This is the story of the control tower operations you'll find at every Air Force base, both here and overseas. Proudly we hail Staff Sergeant Virginia Brown and Sergeant Mary Lou Davis, the officers and men of the 1917th Airways and Air Communications Squadron at Westover Air Force Base, Massachusetts, and all of the women in the Air Force. Our first act curtain will rise in just a moment, but first, it's smart it's patriotic. It's important. It's your opportunity to join the women in the United States Air Force. Think seriously about your future and get all the answers about women in the Air Force at your nearest Air Force recruiting station. It's a prestige career in a prestige service for prestige women. Join America's finest women who serve beside her finest men in the United States Air Force. And now your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production... Power team. If this B-97 was a civilian plane, you'd call me a stewardess. But in the Air Force, I'm known as a flight attendant. I'm on a flight back from Germany with a whole congressional committee on board. They've been in Europe touring military installations. It's been a nice flight, and I've enjoyed talking to that nice congressman from Georgia. That's my home state, Georgia. My hometown, Nathan. I'm Sergeant Mary Lou Davis. You know, I used to dream I can make a flying, of taking trips to Europe. I thought they were just dreams until I joined the West. In fact, I can hardly wait until we get to West Overfield, Massachusetts, and I can tell my roommate, Jenny, all about the trip. Jenny is Staff Sergeant Virginia Brown. She's a supervisor in the control tower at Westover, where we're both safe. Air Force 8435, this is Westover Tower. Wind south, southeast at 10 with gusts 225. Taxi into run-up position and hold. Looks like they're going to take that C-54 in the parking area into the shower. Yeah, I always get a big kick out of that. Imagine a plane getting a bath. <laughs> they better not forget to wash it behind the ears. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny doesn't handle that tower assignment by herself. There are two others with her. Sergeant Peter Grayson. He's in the flight data position. And Airman First Class Robert Maxwell, who handles the log, biscuit light, and radio contact. Pete Grayson is a very special guy. He's my fiance. They're on duty from 0800 to 1600. That's 8 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. I'd hate to think of what a mess things would be in down on the ground if it weren't for that tower team. Why would it be like trying to run a big city without traffic lights? According to this flight plan, there's a jet bomber due for takeoff pretty soon, huh? Yeah, 1520 to be exact. Mm -hmm. Say, Ginny, mm -hmm. you suppose those jet jockeys will make it to Miami by 1530? If they had a headwind, maybe. Otherwise, they'll make it in eight minutes. <laughs> You'll have them in Miami before they take off. So watch out. <laughs> well, just the same. I certainly never thought back in good old Klamath Falls, Oregon, I'd ever see a plane that went as fast as that B-47. 
man from the control tower, too. Say, uh, Jimmy. Mm hmm. Bet you never thought you'd see Mary Lou as Pete's best girl, either. Oh, I don't know. Pete had that certain look on his face from the first minute he saw Mary Lou over at the NCO club. You said it, Jenny. <laughs> now, there is a gal. She's undoubtedly the nicest, sweetest, smartest. Well, uh -huh. There he goes again. Must be love. Must could be. be. Happy could <laughs> be. Now, when you've been married as long as I have, you learn to be more objective about those pretty gals in the Magnolia Moonlight country. Oh, get a load of him. Married for six months and already he's talking like a Dutch uncle. Well, that's how it goes. Things move fast in the Air Force, you know. Maybe so. But how any red-blooded guy could be objective about Mary Lou is beyond me. <laughs> Ever seen that gal smile? It's enough to melt eyes off the wings of a B-36. <laughs> oh, Mary Lou, hurry on home. This guy's impossible. West Tower, this is Air Force 8435. We are ready for takeoff. Air Force 8435, this is Westover Tower. You are cleared for takeoff on runway 15. Roger. Your exact time of departure was 1538. 8435, roger and out. Hey, let me have the arrival report on 2974, will you? Yeah, sure. One arrival report coming right up. Jenny, there's a repair truck on the edge of runway 15. He's waiting for clearance to cross. Has he got a radio? Nope. Then give him the green light on the biscuit light. Runway's clear. Roger. Okay, he's got it. Okay, here's the arrival report on 2974. Oh, thanks, Pete. Well, according to this, Mary Lou is the flight attendant. Yahoo! Here comes my Georgia gal. <laughs> Complete with perfume from Paris. Hey, bet that's why you want to see her, Jenny. Oh, I want to see the perfume, all right. There's another reason why I want to see her. Huh? What's that? Well, she's promised to help me wax the floor of our room. Oh. That's life. Out of the airplane and into the apron. Maybe so, but I'm going to hold her to that promise. Excuse me. Last chance for coffee before Westover, Lieutenant. No, thanks, Sergeant. Captain, it's nice and hot. Thanks, I'll have a cup. Cream, two sugars, please. Maybe our passengers and Sergeant Lutt might like some. Well, I've already served the passengers, sir. And those other two cups are for Sergeant Lutt. Two cups? Never knew flight engineers were so thirsty. Well, I didn't either, sir, but he tells me the reason he re-enlisted in the Air Force is so he could get a good, strong cup of coffee. <laughs> Don't you believe it, Sergeant. He may be fond of our coffee, but that flight engineer of ours gets lonesome for those dials and gauges if he's away from him for more than five minutes. That's why he signed up again. Is that a complaint, Skipper? It certainly is not. Button's got those engines purring like kittens. Say, I bet that's why he likes our coffee. Uh oh, I know I'm going to regret this, but what do you mean? Well, maybe he's drinking the coffee black and running the engines on the crane. Oh, <laughs> people think my job as a pilot is easy. busy helping to fly a plane. But on the ground, he's just as proper as he can be. Only because I respect your engaged status, honey child. You're practically married. Well, you've been looking at your watch ever since we left Paris. Well, maybe you're right. Say, Ben, hmm? I've got a wonderful idea. Uh-oh, you've got something more than just an idea if I know you. What's up? I was just thinking that I ought to introduce you to Jenny. Jenny? Sergeant Virginia Brown. She's my roommate at Westover. All the boys at Westover think she's real cute. Mary Lou, I do believe you're playing Cupid. Me play Cupid? Why, 
Sergeant Ben Ludd, now you can take on. <laughs> it was the furthest thought in my mind. Mm hmm. Uh, by the way, what does Jenny look like? Well, she's five foot four, has brown hair, gray eyes, dances just wonderfully, like Stray Anthony's orchestra, makes wonderful <laughs> apple pie. She's from Aragon, you know. She just adores women, isn't she? <laughs> well, what's so funny? There's our checkpoint, getting near Westover. Better turn on the safety belts and no smoking sign and check in with the field. Roger. Westover Tower. This is Air Force 2974. Over. Air Force 2974. This is Westover Tower. Over. 2974 to Westover Tower. We are 10 west of Worcester at 2000. Request landing instructions. Use runway 15, wind south, southeast at 10, with gusts up to 25. Taxi into run up position and hold. Roger, and out. Keep. What is it still the same? Right, no change. Air Force 2974, cleared to land. Land in runway 15, wind south, southeast, with gusts to 25. Report to tower on downwind leg. Over. Tower from 2974. Roger and Wilco. Well, Pete, here comes Mary Lou. Better start practicing that new tango step. Eric notified Tower we're on downwind. Roger, Skipper. West over Tower. Air Force 2974, entering downwind leg. Over. Roger, 2974. Give Sergeant Davis a buzz, will you, Eric? Sure thing. Sergeant Davis? Yes, sir. Everything squared away, Sergeant? Yes, sir. All cigarettes out. All safety belts fast. Check. Fasten yourself in. We'll be down in a few minutes. Yes, sir. Okay, let's make the gum check. Gas? Cross feet on. Undercarriage? Wheels coming down. Mixture? Full ridge. Prop? 2100 RPM. Check 25 degrees flap. Flaps coming down. Base leg? Check skipper. West over tower. 2974, turning base. Air Force 2974, you are clear to land. You are number one in traffic. Wind south, southeast, with gusts to 25. Roger, tower. Turning final. Tower, 2974, turning final. Roger, 2974. Skipper, the Audison, left gear. Not down yet, light not showing. Something's wrong. Let's go upstairs. Right. Come on, baby. Westover, 2974, going around. We're having trouble with our gear. Roger, 2974. What's the word, Skipper? Don't know yet. Air Force 2974 to Westover Tower. We're going to climb to 3,000 feet to make a landing gear check. Over. Roger, 2974. Sergeant Ludden, stand by for check on landing gear. Roger. Maybe the Audison's not working properly. Maybe. Or maybe the downlocked solenoid on the left gear is fouled. Or maybe we got to shorten the panel light. We'll have to check everything. Make yourself comfortable, Skipper. We got two hours worth of gas to find out whether we got a short circuit or a long headache. A short in the panel, sir. I've checked the light, too. That left gear looks all right from here, but I can't be sure. Now, 
Okay, let's go down and let the tower make a check. They may spot something we can't see from our angle. Roger, Skipper. Air Force 2 9 7 4 to Westover Tower. We're going to make a low approach past the tower. Will you make a visual check on our left gear? Over. Roger, 2 9 7 4. We'll go. Here we go. I say again, your left gear appears not locked properly. You are listening to the proudly we hail production, Tower Team. We'll return in just a moment for the second act. Choosing a career is a serious task for June girl graduates. You want a job that's important, a job with a future, a job that's exciting. Well, the United States Air Force needs young women with your talent. The Air Force needs you for America's most important job, defense. Go to your nearest Air Force recruiting office for complete details about a career in Air Force Blue. It's interesting, exciting, important. America's finest women stand beside her finest men in the United States Air Force. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present the second act of Tower Team. Hundreds of pairs of eyes are looking up, watching that C-97 as the officers and men inside check and recheck the equipment. As Mary Lou up there talks to the passengers, putting them at their ease. Down here in the tower, Lieutenant Burke, the base operations officer, is talking to the pilots, suggesting one possibility after another, going through the emergency procedure step by step. All that the rest of us can do at the moment is to cross our fingers and pray for them up there. Niner 74 from Tower. Try the manual pump again. Over. Tower. No dice. I think we moved the gear down some more. All three gears look all right now by visual check, but we can't get a green light for the left gear. Over. How is your gas? Over. Pretty good. Enough for a couple of hours. What's your decision? Tower, this is Harris in 2974. As far as we can find out, our auto sin is not operating properly. Or else the down-locked solenoid on the left gear is foul. The gear seems to be down as far as it will go. We'll try for a one-wheel landing. Is the field clear? Over. 2974, the field is clear. Take over, Sergeant. Yes, sir. 2974, wind is south, southeast at 10 with gusts to 25... Use runway one five. Over. Roger, Tower. Dust off that runway. We'll be down in a minute. Bob, get on the squawk box and alert the field. Tell the emergency crews to space out along the right hand side of runway one five. We can't tell where that gear might let go. They have to make a landing. Roger. Westover Tower to three six eight one. Hold clear of the active runway. We have an emergency in the air. Return to ramp. 3681 to tower. Welco. Roger and out. Pete, give all vehicles near runway 15 the warning red and green on the biscuit. Roger. I'll close the field. Attention all aircraft in vicinity of Westover. This is Westover Tower. The field is closed. All aircraft in or near traffic pattern proceed to altitude 4500 and circle to left. Emergency in progress. I say again, emergency 
in progress. We're not sure that our left gear is locked properly, but we're going to shoot a landing. Might be rough, but it's the best risk. Passengers okay? Yes, sir. They know what's up, though. One of them was a pilot in the war. He looked out, saw the crash equipment, and he knew what it meant. Well, they're grown men. Tell them what we're going to do, and get into a seat, strap in, and stay put. <laughs> Remember, you got to deliver that bottle of perfume. Yes, sir. Captain, if anybody can get us in... I know you can. Well, thanks, Sergeant. I'll do my best. That's it, Skipper. Yes, it is. Well, buck up, Eric, my boy. We are going to make the most beautiful one-wheel landing you ever saw. Tower, this is 2974. We're coming down. 2974, this is Tower. Cleared for runway 15. Emergency truck will stand by. Tower, we'll make a straight in approach. Out. Roger. Attention. Crash crews, all emergency crews. The C 97 now landing is yours. Right gear is okay. The left is doubtful. Roger, Tower. Here he comes. be all right, Pappy. You're really going to grease this one in. Thanks. <laughs> Wish I knew that for sure. Anyhow, I'm sure going to try. Emergency up there. Quiet. Sorry, sir. They're over the end of the runway. Fifty feet up about. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. They're on the ground. Still okay. Slowly. Slowing down. Come on, you left wheel hole. Sure is. They're going to make it. He's not using his brakes. He's afraid to put additional strain on that wheel. They're almost stopped. They are stopped. Oh, oh, oh. brother. Oh. Have you got their arrival time marked on the log? Yes, sir. Air Force 2974 landed at 1600. You're wrong, Pete. Huh? He landed at 1601. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, what were you saying, Sergeant Evans? Oh, I just wanted to say that the 1600 shift is reporting for duty. Sergeant Evans, the control tower is all yours. Here's the mic. Okay. All aircraft, all aircraft, this is Westover Tower. The field is now open. I repeat, the field is now open. Westover Tower, this is Air Force 2119er. Air Force 2119er, this is Westover Tower. Over. 2119er to Westover Tower, request landing instructions. Westover Tower to Air Force 2119er, use runway 15, wind south southeast to 10, gust to 25. Over. Roger and out. Tower, this is Air Force 3681, request taxi instructions. Air Force 3681, this is Westover Tower, wind south southeast of 10 with gusts up to 25. Yes, that left gear held after all. We're on the ground now, over at the snack bar. Captain Harris set that big C-97 down as gently as you'd set down some heirloom china. Now you can see how we all feel about that team in the tower and why we depend on them and have confidence in them. No matter how tough things are in that plane, 
When you hear their voices so calm and assured, somehow you feel better. Well, my face is powdered. Guess I'll go John Pete and Jenny and Ben. Hi, y'all. Hi, Mary Hope you saved at least one soda for me. Oh, after sweating out that landing, it does a girl's morale good to pretty up a bit. You didn't have to. You always look good to me. Now, that's the way I like to hear boys talk. Hey, 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 hey. What's this boys stuff? Yes. Don't forget, Mary Lou. One of these days, you're going to be Mrs. Pete Grayson. Don't you worry. I won't forget. Mm. By the way, not to change the subject exactly, Jenny, how have you been getting along with our flight engineer? Oh, well, just fine, Mary Lou. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Sergeant Ludden, I mean, Ben, was telling me while you were out brandishing that powder puff how much he liked dancing to Ray Anthony's music, how he liked homemade apple pie and swimming. Yeah. Well, to meet someone who likes the same things you do. Hmm. My, what a funny coincidence. Wouldn't you say so, Ben? Well, uh, yeah, I guess you might say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. Mary Lou's waxing the floor of our room. Me? Well, I'm sitting here admiring this beautiful bottle of perfume and watching her. <laughs> After all, when Mary Lou gets married, it'll be my turn at waxing every week. You know, if that nice-looking site engineer keeps his promise to take me out every night he's here, it's just possible that I might be in the market for a wedding myself. You know, times have changed. Just a few short years ago, women were completely left out of this man's world. Today, in more and more instances, women are proving that they can assume the role of skilled technicians in positions once thought of as solely for men. A case in point is aviation. Today, in our rapidly expanding Air Force, women are taking their places alongside men as cartographers, control tower operators, cryptographers, and dispatchers. These are but a few of the vital services being performed by the women of the Air Force. If you're between the ages of 18 and 34 and can qualify, visit your nearest United States Air Force recruiting station today. Ask about the WAF, the women in the Air Force. They need you now. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented and transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army and United States Air Force Recruiting Service. This is Mark Hamilton speaking, inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>